Hello and thanks for tuning in. In this video we're going to talk a little bit about this key cabinet. It's bought at Piltema. You can see the number, part number there. Or item number. I bought it for about 140 kroner. That would be about 23 dollars US. And for that kind of money I wouldn't expect to get much security and they doesn't offer any either so in this case I got what I expected got what I pay for I didn't pay much didn't get much rather than some security device I would call it a paperweight it's at least a little weight on it the main purpose of it is to use it to secure your spare key for your home. I've seen a couple of places this exact key cabinet is mounted beside the doorbell and I expect it to contain a household key. Um, it uses for a four digit code you input them by this spinning cold wheels many people in the locksport community would probably laugh if they saw something like this mounted on your front door containing your household key that was exactly the thing I thought why would anyone secure their home with this cabinet I think it's ignorance um, naive, naivety, naive, yeah. not knowing any better. Anyway, uh, many people think a lock is a lock, a lock is secure. That doesn't apply, at least not in this case. We who practice a little lock sport knows this kind of locking system has a big flaw this lock in particular has a major flaw um, because when you use the, the code method you're not only align the code somewhere along the digit which is the normal procedure and you have to turn each wheel um, or all four wheels at the same time basically reducing the 9999 possible combination down to 10 but in this case you get the exact code decoding because um, the little groove we are going to feel for directly correspond with the right number in the code combination so let's do a little demonstration Move the camera a little bit. We're gonna zoom in a little bit. I think you have a little view there. What I'm gonna use is basically a thin piece of metal. It's this in particular is a filler pick, but any thin piece of metal would do. Um, I recommend using somewhere something with a straight corner to feel for the little groove on the inner code wheel because it's an outer and an inner and you basically just slide the feeler pick down to the code wheel on the right side of the wheel outer wheel and you just start spinning and somewhere along this Spinning, you will feel the pick dip in a little bit, which indicates you're on the groove, which would normally not co correspond with the right digit, but the purpose is to align them. But in this case, it actually directs correspond with the wheel, uh, the right digit, and we have another groove. Uh, 
and another groove and actually another groove there so it's decoded the combination was four zeros so all that now remains is to open the cabinet To use this on your front door or maybe cabin would be risky if anyone tried to force their way in or just screw with you because when you have the digit you can reprogram it easily just by putting down this little latch. Hopefully this reach out to someone in Norway or Scandinavia. So if you do have this mounted on your door, please find something else. If you consider to buy it, don't. If you wanted the paperweight, just close it up. It's a little heavy, you can use it. Yep, thanks for watching.